Allah made everything. Allah made everything. Oh, that's what she's stuck in my head. Mine too, mine too. <laughs> well, Allah's definitely, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is definitely al muhi wal the one who gives life and death. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I understand these attributes now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al muhi the one who gives life, and al mumid the one who gives death. He was al muhi so he gave life to me. But he was also al mumid so he caused my parents to die. The same way though, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave life to the land of Canada, but he gave death to the land of Tuba. Really makes me understand these attributes now. But Allah does not just give life and death randomly. His decision is based on wisdom. He's all aware of our situation and he watches over everything. That's Allah. Al Khabir and Al Basir. Al Khabir and Al Basir? What do these names mean? Since you don't know what these attributes mean, we can go check out the Grade 2 class. The Grade 2 class is presenting their uh, presentation on Allah, Al Khabir, and Al Basir. This way we can learn more, learn more about them. Okay, yeah, yeah let's go. Beautiful flowers, their colorful petals, and the sweet fragrance. Amazing! Subhanallah! Now I understand how important it is to ponder upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. Planting very smart to planting very smart to do all of this hard work. No, it's in fact. Not the plants, but the Creator. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al Khabir and Al Basir. In Surah Al Anam, Ayah 59, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that not only He falls, but that He knows about it. Yes, you remember our teacher told us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created plants as a source of energy for us. But how do plants make their food? Oh no! Did you forget the plant life cycle? They go through a process called photosynthesis. <laughs> Photocinema? <laughs> no! Phototermis? No! Photosynthesis! Oh, now I get it. What is that? Photosynthesis is when the leaves of a plant take an energy from the sun using chlorophyll and use this energy along with water and nutrients and carbon dioxide. This gives sugary food for the plant. This also gives up oxygen for us to breathe. You mean the oxygen we humans breathe? Yes, exactly. I did not know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created that so we humans would need the oxygen to produce like plants. Yes, that's why we need to take care of our environment. Hmm. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <coughs> Why are you having that? Because that's what I did to the environment. Yes, it is, but right now we are talking about plants, not recycling. Okay, fine, continue, Mr. Science Teacher. Just act the law, just act the law. Anyway, like I was saying, plants make their food through photosynthesis, and Allah, who is the Al Bashir, the all watching, is watching all. making food. How would they know which plant is making food? Because my dear friend, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have, no, 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 I mean the one who, <laughs> the one who guides the bees and insects on their paths to the flowers. It, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Kahaf, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, wa turib lahum masal al-hayat al-dunya
In Surah Kahaf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and gave them a parable of this worldly life. It's just like the plants of the earth thriving and sustained by the rain we drop down in the sky. They soon turn into dry leaves scattered by the wind and Allah is fully capable of doing things. No doubt, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all seeing and all aware of everything that is happening in this world. And he has known this well before any scientific discovery or invention. So, so I'm happy Allah. Allah.